Hello viewers, it's Whitwell Mike here again for Sully Toxic 9000, back with another Python Pi game install. Right, it's January 19th, 2017, and we're going to check out the latest Python. I think it's gone up. Um, for those of you who had problems with the, the last install we did, um, it was the fourth iteration I'd done at home with no problems at all. Um, didn't expect there to be many issues with it, but people were having problems and also when I came to install it on my daughter's laptop I had problems with it there as well so I will be doing a, a follow-up video to the last one hopefully later on today where we uh, <laughs> hopefully find out why we so some of us have problems on certain machines how to update the pip and all that sort of rubbish. Anyway, let's find the latest Python. <coughs> Again, we're going to Python.org, downloads, and we're going to bring down 3.6. While that's going over there, we we'll now move over to the unofficial binaries again. Let's see if I can spell unofficial, of course, which doesn't look like I can. Unofficial. Python binaries. It's this one here at the very top. I will put links in the doobly doo for files and um, websites I'm visiting during this tutorial. And then we've got to come all the way down. There's millions of uh, modules here. Uh, you've got to find Pygame. It's too alphabetical, so it should be here somewhere. Here she blows. Now I'm using a 32 bit machine at the moment so the one I want is this file here what you will notice is it says something like Pygame 1.9.3 CP and then the next number is your Python um, number so if you're using Python 2.7 you'd want to want download the CP27 uh, 3.4 Python CP34 and so on and of course we're looking at the latest which is 3.6 we need the CP36 and make sure you get the right um, operating system which is in this case 32-bit uh, so again we'll bring that down Python is now down so we'll install that and we'll run the install install now yes nice. Right, as you can see, that is now almost installed. I don't know why the, the bars do this. They always get to within like a pixel of 100% and then that last tiny little bit takes longer than the, the previous 99% took. Just the, just the way computers are, I suppose. There we go. <coughs> she is in. Right, close. Shut my um, Google Chrome browser. And programs. Python 36, there's me the idle, I'll make a shortcut on the desktop. Right. So if we go to idle and type in import Pygame, it's going to say no module. And that is because we haven't installed it yet. So let's have a, let's have a look at this then. Next thing we've got to do is find that install. So computer C drive I'm using Windows sorry if you use you know Oz or Linux or anything like that um, I'm I only have Windows computers so I can only do this for Windows so it's in my case C drive because that's where my operating system is yours could be on D or somewhere else but most people it'll be C users uh, Whitwell Mike is where we're going now Don't need that anymore um, App data has now appeared in this list. So you've got um, a low lit file showing that would normally be hidden. <coughs> and you go to local, uh, programs, Python is there, Python 3632. Um, if you have installed ver uh, previous versions of Python, you might have those here somewhere as well. But 3632 is where we're going. And here, and then into the Folder. Well, there we've got pip 
keep it pretty easy install. Cracky, that's good. We've got loads of new stuff in here. This should all make the life a little bit more easy. Um, I know some of this crap is what buggers up the um, install of the Pi game module if all this isn't in and working properly. So hopefully we'll have no such problems this time. So I'm now in this Python 36, 32 scripts folder and I need see Windows Explorer to bring up another Windows uh, and dock those out of the way. And we've got to find the downloaded Pi game. As you can see it's the only two things I've downloaded on this computer so they're easy for me to find. Uh, push that over into here so that is now in the scripts folder. Close that one off. Right, some people have problem with the next step. This is dead simple. Keep your mouse over this screen. Hopefully you can see my mouse. I don't have it highlighted unfortunately. Um, now I'm going to press and hold the shift key. It's still held. I'm not letting go. I'm pressing the right mouse button and that brings up the file like this and you'll see open command window here. If you just press right mouse in there that open command window here does not appear. So it's shift and hold right mouse and there it is. The other thing you could do, so I'm going to open that, right, and I'll put it up there. The other thing you can do is if you look in the top of this box. It says the address. It's you know users, Whitwell, Mike, app, local programs, Python, all the rest of it. That gives me the directory. If you can't get that right button, the shift right button to work, just come down here in here, type cmd in this bottom bit. Cmd. That will give you a, a command window right back at your um, users and whatever your name is and all you have to do there is type in CD which stands for change directory and make that app data do you need to capitalize on here? I don't know, let's try it without see if it works app data and you're going to do it if you don't spell it right uh, and then you have to put in your slashes I'm assuming that's the right way around. App data local slash programs slash form. This is where we find out it is case sensitive, but we'll keep going. I can always edit this bit out if it doesn't work. Let's see. Slash Rips. and there you go look, straight to where uh, the same one as we had over here by pressing the so you can get to this get the shell into the right place in you know two different ways but, you know you need to see the the address across here in fact if you click on it look it does give you that address and you just copy that into here manually I don't think that there might be a copy and paste but I don't I don't know anyway once you get your shell window up in the right place, it's in scripts on the end. You can say uh, pip free space install space, and then we have to type the name of that file exactly as it is. This is the Pi Game one we just copied across, which is Pi Game minus 1.9.3 minus CP3 minus actually I've written that wrong what have I done ah not cp3 cp36 you do have to type things correctly computers will not guess what you're trying to get them to do they like the French if you don't pronounce it properly they don't understand right windows 32.whl we run that and off she goes I think it says installing collected packages pi game and successfully installed Look at that runs smooth as silk so here we go and we're going to go uh, let's be idle this timeline support pi game Not pi game bosh no errors pi game module perfectly installed right hopefully that's going to sort things out for you. Like I say, um, I think the best thing to do is forget Python 35 and upgrade to 36 because 
36 does seem to have all the you know, the pips installed and the easy installed in and working properly so you know let me let me know how you get on with this one um, hopefully you'll have no more problems uh, right um, that's it for this video thanks for watching and catch you again soon bye for now